We see where the country is soon to have a new Prime Minister. Now MPs will sound out the prospective candidates before making up their minds. But all they have to go on is the candidates' words. And they can often come cheap, as you and I know very well. If you remember from last Sunday's Gospel, Jesus asked us to love one another. But today he highlights our love for him personally. He emphasises that it is only those who actually keep his words who can lay claim to loving him. In this sense, it's not reduced to a sort of woolly emotionalism divorced from reality. Now in another part of the Gospel, Jesus says that the keepers of his word have built their faith on solid rock, whereas those who fail to deliver on their words built it on shifting sands. Now, in order to interpret the word of Jesus in Scripture collect correctly, we need guidance of Holy Mother Church. This mothering role of the Church is based on Mary, our Heavenly Mother, whom Scripture says heard the word of God and kept it. If Jesus asks us to keep his word, then we need to be absolutely sure that what we're hearing is the word of God, is the word of truth. We see an example of this in the first reading today where the mother church in Jerusalem was given the final say on certain areas of disagreement among the early Christians. Jesus says, anyone who hears you, that is the church, hears me. In forming our conscience we are entitled to hear the authentic word of God through scripture and tradition in order for us to make a correct response in faith. However, having heard the true message, we can't just pick and choose which words of Christ and his church we'll obey while sidestepping the others. That's far from loving Christ. We saw in the first reading today where certain men from Judea were changing the word of God to suit their own agenda. In response, Paul and Barnabas, guided by the Holy Spirit, had some stern words for them. We can easily be tempted to tamper with the word of God and the teaching of Holy Mother Church and whittle down its commands. On making up our minds on vital issues of conscience, people today stress the importance of making informed choices. Fair enough. However, we can easily make the wrong informed choice. Often the more knowledge we have on various ethical issues, the more confused we can become. For instance, it was only after Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge that they made the wrong choice, which affected all their descendants. That's you and me. We can easily end up creating our own gospel. Jesus says today, those who do not love me do not keep my words. And that means all of them, without exception. There's nothing as irritating as someone who rarely keeps his word. But God never balks on his promises when his, her, his word finds a home in our hearts. By obeying his word as transmitted through scripture and tradition, we prove our love for him because it's based on the truth which comes from the mouth of God. Thank you very much for listening and God bless you all.